What's up, everybody? We'll start in about five minutos. Do we need anything? Any? You do not, no. Um, if you're on carpet, you're good. If you're on hardwood, I would grab a mat or a couple towels to lay down. But other than that, that's all you need. Great, thanks. Yep. Uh, have I heard anything about when the IMA may open? Uh, kind of just whispers of it. It's just, there's nothing definitive. Um, if I were a betting man, I would say probably a soft opening in early July, something like that. I mean, if it was up to me, I would open it probably earlier, but it's, it's not my call. So, yeah. We shall see. My legs are killing me from yesterday. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I woke up really sore and I was like, why are my why are my legs so sore? And I forgot that we had done a leg workout. For some reason I thought we did upper body. Thanks, Sandra. Appreciate it. Yeah, that's why we wanted to offer them. We knew it was uh, um, a good thing to do just for everyone. It's great for me, too. I, I really like the structure of it. Um, I think it's fun. Because when I actually teach classes in person, I don't, I don't do the exercises with everybody. My style of, of teaching when I'm in class is I'll demo the movements, and then I usually I'll walk around and interact with people. It's not very often that I'm actually doing the workout. So this has been kind of fun to mix it up a little bit. But you know, during this time, these are these are my workouts. So it's, it's important that I do them as well. <clears throat> usually when we're back at, you know, the gym, I, I usually do my own workout. So it wouldn't, it would be a little bit too much if I did all of those things together. I will start in about two minutes. Doing more lunges. <laughs> do, 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 do. So yeah, I would say a, a probably a good guesstimate for a return is probably early July. Uh, I'm hoping the classes, because there, there really shouldn't be an end date for any of these classes, they'll just end whenever. Um, I think just the boot camp it was looking like seemed to be ending next week when it's not. So I made the change to, I think I pushed it to the end of July or something. So hopefully you can still see the classes and register and all of that. If not, I'll, I'll go in and fix it again. <laughs> It is 12.02. I say we get started. Let me pin my video. Cool. All right, folks. Uh, core class. Um, again, normally it's about 30 minutes, but I'll probably take it longer because why not? Might as well. So uh, I've broken it up into sections here. We're going to be starting with upper abs. We got about 10 exercises. Then we're going to move into uh, obliques, then we're going to move into lower abs, and then we'll finish with our big plank. I'll probably throw in a couple lower back exercises to end these, but I also kind of want to start our warm up with that. So, speaking of that, for our warm up, we're actually going to be on the floor. 
This is new. Okay, you're just gonna start with cat cow. We're gonna go for about 45 seconds and then we'll get into our other movements. So remember, hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips, head up, arch the back, head down, round the back. Yup, looks good. Try to sync your breathing with the movement. About 15 seconds here, warming up the spine and the stomach. And let's get one more here. Head up, arch, head down, round. Next up, we're gonna go into bird dogs here. All right, so it's gonna be opposite arm, opposite leg. So I'm gonna extend my right leg back. I'm gonna reach my left arm forward. We're gonna hold for about five. We're gonna switch. Left leg back, right arm forward. Hi, Ash, what's up? I'm not pointing at anything, I'm stretching. Opposites, look out. <clears throat> yes. Shut up. Should feel pretty nice here. Uh, this, again, this is great for muscular endurance, flexibility here in the back, entire back side of the body. We're doing so much of the front of the core that we really need to make sure we're hitting the back as well. Switch it up. About 20 seconds left. <clears throat> We'll do these a couple times throughout. You know, they're not thrilling, but they are important, like I said. One more on the right here. Right and left, I suppose. Cool, we're gonna go into kind of a modified Superman. So I'm gonna lay flat on my tummy. I'm gonna keep my head, it's gonna rest down on my elbows. I think you can see me, yeah. So I'm just chilling here, like I'm sleeping kind of, okay? So what I'm gonna do from here is I'm gonna raise just my legs. Okay, I'm bringing my head up to make sure I can see myself. But just your legs up, come back down. Okay, so the head stays down for now. So you should be feeling this primarily in the lower back, glutes, hamstrings. Can you see me? Okay, good. <laughs> so again, head down for now. You just kind of zone out. Really try to engage the glutes and the back here. We're gonna do one more. I'm gonna take my arms behind me here and out to the side slightly. I'm gonna raise everything up now. We're gonna hold for about three to five. If you wanna do them a little longer, you're welcome to. Come back down to the floor. Raise everything up, hold it. Now you should be feeling all this stuff in your lower back, but it shouldn't be discomfort or pain. There's a big difference. Um, it can be hard with lower back exercises to kind of distinguish the difference between a burn there and pain. So you really got to listen to your body here. Don't go too high up if you don't feel like your body's ready to go there. Get about two more in. And last one. Lift and hold. All right, peeps, nice job. We're gonna start with our upper ab work. So as always, we're gonna start with the easier stuff and then work our way up. So we're gonna start, let me lower it a little bit. We're gonna start with regular old crunches, okay? Plant the feet, hands behind the head, elbows wide. You're gonna lift up slightly, come back down. Okay, so it's not a sit up. We're doing a sit up after this, but for now we're just thinking crutch, right? We're thinking upper part of the abs, belly button and up. I highly suggest looking up towards the roof, trying to keep your chin off your chest for this one. So I'm thinking up, not forward. All right. It's my stomach leading the way here, it's not my hips. As always, for the regulars here, pulling my belly button towards my spine. So I'm sucking in my gut. I'm not bracing, like if someone's gonna go to punch you, you kind of press out. You're not doing that, you're pulling in. 
Well, by the way, we're doing 45 seconds of everything. Probably should have mentioned that. <laughs> and we're going to get one more after this. Come up a tiny bit higher, a little bit higher, hold it. Come back down. Again, you should have felt that burn, your stomach waking up a little bit in the upper part of your stomach. Okay. Next, we're going to go into a full sit up here. If you cannot bring your hands behind your head into your sit up, bring your hands over your chest. Okay. If you're still struggling with that, just go up as high as you can. It's not a big deal. All right. Now, your hips are definitely going to be involved with this movement. So, there's going to be some swing. Try to control that as much as possible. Okay. 45 seconds. Let's go. Now, with the sit up, I do suggest you think about lifting up towards the roof. Even though you are going forward on a sit up, I still want you to think up. Try to keep the elbows wide throughout. As we lift, we have a tendency to yank on our head and close the elbows, keep them open. Try to plant those feet as best as possible. It's okay if they raise a little bit. Try to keep them flat. Uh-oh, fighting cats. Stay over there. 15 seconds. <laughs> Let's get one more. We're going to lower a little slower. Fight it on the way down. And relax. Ah, good job. I printed my workout too small. I can barely see it. Ah. It's like size eight bump. Why did I do that? Okay, tabletop crunch. <laughs> so back to our crunch, not the sit up. Feet at tabletop position. So my knees are just past my belly button line here, okay? My knees and my legs are gonna stay here. I'm gonna drive my knees together, hands behind the head, and crunch. Ah, this burns a lot already. Okay, so our lower abs are definitely involved here because they need to be stabilizing our legs, but again, we're primarily thinking the upper part of the tummy. Do your best to drive your knees together. Shins should be nice and flat. Again, we're thinking up towards the roof. Breathe, breathe, breathe. 15 seconds. Press those knees together. Woo. And let's get one more, a little bit higher. Hold it. Woo. Come on down. Little break, about 10 to 15 seconds between all of these. Um, do I want to do that one? Let's go to a roll up next. Okay. So a roll up is similar to a crunch, or excuse me, a sit up, but our legs are flat. Okay. Legs are totally flat on the floor. You can go hands behind the head, you can go over the chest, you can reach the arms back, you can mix and match, it doesn't really matter. But I'm gonna come all the way up, keeping my legs flat, and at the top, see, I'm kind of I'm kind of over-exaggerating that. As straight as I possibly can, and pull the shoulders back, down slow. Fight it on the way down. Okay, 45 seconds, let's go. If you need to lock your feet underneath something, if you have a partner and you wanna have them hold on, whatever works. If you want to make this a tiny bit easier, bend your knees, okay? Fight it on the way down. Drive your legs through the ground. Remember, it's, it's easy to fall back. Fight it on the way down. Nice job. Keep those elbows wide. Whew. 20 seconds. Fight it, fight it, fight it. I'm gonna go arms up now, just because I want to. <laughs> a little bit harder. <sighs> a lot harder to control this when the arms up come in down. It's just extra weight bearing. <sighs> Let's all get one more in. Down slow. <sighs> nice job, relax. All right, we're gonna go back to our crunch. But we're going to elevate the feet this time <clears throat> so it's legs straight up, right? We started planted, tabletop, legs straight. Oh, my feet, you can't see them. Eh, doesn't matter. Okay, 45 seconds. Here we go. 
So try to keep your legs stable. Don't do what I did where I brought my knees in. Try to keep them nice and stable. As straight as possible. Oh God. <sighs> keep those elbows wide. So you're burning quite a bit here. Breathe, breathe, breathe. I don't particularly care when you breathe as long as you breathe. I like to exhale when I'm coming down. Some people like to exhale when they go up. Let's get three more. One, oh. two, and last one. Time. Ooh. Oh. Again, I'm going to go slow and controlled here. If you want to do this a little faster, uh oh. Am I back? Okay, it looks like I'm back. Okay, we're live. <laughs> Starting on the elbows up to the hands. Okay, here we go. Quarantine internet, everyone's home on the internet. I have wired high speed internet and it's still kind of janky. So slow and steady. Your abs should still really be burning here. Twenty seconds. Let's get one more in and relax. Ooh, we got two more things here with the upper abs. Then we'll take a little break and move on. And next up, we're going to go into. Oh, I forgot to hit start on my own workout. And. Anyway, butterfly crunch, pressing the feet together, knees are wide, hands behind the head, we're going to come all the way up, as high as you can get, okay, this one is significantly harder to get all the way up because your knees are open, okay, it's forcing your stomach out to do the work to get up, it's really a butterfly sit up, I don't know why they're called butterfly crunches, I try to keep those elbows wide. Don't be surprised if you're really struggling to get up on this one. Try to press the knees down. You're going to take the hips out of the equation. Forces your tummy to do the work. Ooh, 10 seconds. And let's get one more in. And come on down, Woo. relax. Okay, the last thing out of the upper abs section here, I gotta hit my timer to go, it's gonna drive me crazy. Okay, Whew. we're gonna go into earthquakes. So for these, you're gonna plant the feet, just plant them as best as possible. What's gonna happen is you're gonna get tired and your heels are gonna, your uh, feet are gonna raise up. That's okay, it's gonna happen. So I'll go this way, we're gonna start, Hands over the chest, hands out in front, I don't really care. Do whichever one works for you. Then you're gonna sit back and you're gonna hold it. Now the key is pull the shoulders back, chest is open. So don't be folded up here, pull everything back. Your neck should be pretty long. I'm gonna take my arms out in front, you don't have to do that. Drop back another inch, hold it. You should be getting a little bit of a shake here now. Nothing too crazy. I'm going to take my right arm up. You should notice a difference there. Bring it down. Other arm. Both arms up. Quite a bit harder. Both arms down. Lower another inch. Hold it. Bring one arm up. 
Other arm up. Both arms up. Hold it. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Time. Oh. <laughs> Grab a little bit of water. That one is death. Good job, y'all. We're going to go into some obliques. Next up, apologies to the, the person that hates that I drink plastic water bottles. Sorry, I forgot. If you're here, forgive me. All right. Next up, uh, like I said, oblique. So we're going to start basic again, work our way up. We're going to go regular old side crunches. So down in fetal position, opposite hand can go wherever. Again, I tend to put it on my, my sides because it just helps me pinch. Opposite hand is behind the head, gently kind of fingertips on the head. Lift up, pinch. Cool, that's it. Lift and pinch, very short range of motion, similar to your butt and you're trying to crush that. Uh-oh. I'm still here. I'm still here. 15 seconds on this side. And then we're going to modify it a little bit. Lift and pitch. Get one more. Sticking to the same side, you're going to add the knee now. Bring the two together. Come back down. So they raise up and together, knee comes in, pinch, back to the floor, okay? Lift, pinch, fight it on the way down. Again, your body wants to drop, try to fight it. Again, you can do whatever you want with the other hand. Woo, you should be feeling a big pinch and a burn in your sides. Couple more. And last one. Sweet. Switch sides. So we're going to start. <clears throat> Traditional side crunch. Legs are staying put. Lift and pinch. Ooh, that sucked. I got to do that again. Here we go. 45 seconds. There he is. <sighs> so remember here, your hands are just behind your head. They're not pulling the head. It's easy to just kind of yank your neck. Right? The hands are just supporting gently. It's my obliques doing the work. Generally with abs, kind of jerky, fast movements are, are really not beneficial. Do one more, then we'll take the leg and bring it in. Bring the two together. Big squeeze. Ooh. Hopefully you can't hear the dog outside going absolutely insane. It hasn't stopped barking in like 20 minutes. My God. And last one. Sweet. Oh. We're going to do our ankle slaps next. So plant the feet, head and shoulders off the floor. You're going to switch to the right, tap your ankle. If you can tap towards your feet, great. And then alternate. Okay, the tempo should be turn, 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 turn. 45 seconds. Here we go. Trying to drive the knees together. And as always, I am pinching my obliques as I turn. Ugh. Controlled, purposeful movement. You're not just swinging around, okay? Twenty seconds. Three, two, one, and 
time, relax. Woo. We're gonna go right into slow bicycles next. So opposite elbow to opposite knee, turn and hold for about three seconds. One, two, three, switch. So don't worry about the height of the leg, think about the extension of the leg. Okay, I'd rather you kick your leg forward more and be longer than think about height. Okay, let's go. Legs long, elbows wide. And the goal is to get the elbow to the outside of the opposite knee. Focused on the twist and the lengthening. Woo. Ten seconds. And we'll get one more. Go ahead and turn to your side. We're going to do our side plank hip drops next. We'll do 30 seconds on each side. Let's do a minute on each side. Why not? Anywho, one minute on each side. I might regret this. Here we go. Hips to the floor, back up. You should probably look at my timer. <clears throat> As always, down slow, up fast, pinch, down slow, up fast. Really pinching as I lift at the top. Should primarily be feeling this in the right side if I'm on my right. 20 seconds. Let's get two more. And last one. Sweet. Switch sides. Uno minuto. Here we go. Let's do it. Slow and steady. Thirty seconds. Ten seconds. Let's get one more. And down, relax. Got one more thing here. Uh, we're going to go into mountain climber position, but we're going to bring the knee towards the opposite elbow. Okay, so. I'm in push-up position. I'm going to bring my right knee over towards my left elbow and bring it back. And then you're going to switch sides. Okay? 45 seconds. Let's do it. So the knee to the opposite. If you really want to challenge yourself, you can try to drop your butt to the floor when you do that. It's quite a bit more challenging. It takes a little bit of stabilization. Fifteen seconds. Let's get one more on each side. And relax. Grab a sip of water. Then we're going to move on to our lower abs. Give you about twenty seconds. I always, I always think the lower up stuff is harder. Maybe it's just me. Okay. So we're gonna start on the back. Woo. Reverse crunch. We're gonna do a couple variations on this. We're gonna start with the most basic, which is hands by the butt. Knees close together, pull the knees in. 
heels down, okay? I don't recommend swinging your knees in like this. Do it slow. We're trying to really isolate the lower part of the stomach, belly button and below. 45 seconds. I do suggest having your head down. In and controlled, think about your stomach doing the pulling, not just your hips and your legs. As always, pulling the stomach in. Pull those knees together. Pretend almost that there's a, well, I always come back to stress ball. There's a stress ball between your knees and you're trying to crush it. <clears throat> Let's get one more in and relax. Woo. We're gonna do another variation on the reverse crunch. We're gonna cross our feet here up at the top. We're gonna bring the knees forward slightly and pull in. So I'm not returning to the floor. I'm driving forward slightly past my starting point and then I'm pulling in. So slightly past the start, pull in, okay? Try to go slow as you pass the belly button line, then pull in. Takes a lot more control past that line to hold the legs and then pull back. <sighs> 15 seconds. Let's get one more and relax, deep breath, about 10 seconds, then we'll go and do a double leg lift. So again, if you have back issues, put your hands on your tailbone. If not, just to the side is fine. Legs straight up, both come down together, both up together. Let's go. Legs nice and long. I'm trying not to cross the belly button line again. I know you're tired of hearing that. <sighs> Prevents you from relaxing. Keeps the tension in the stomach. on that at the top of our leg lift we're going to do a bump up of the hips now it's okay a little to be a little bit uh swingier more swingy on this one. Oh, I'm burning a lot here all right same exact position you're gonna do your leg lift at the top bump your hips up okay so i'm just bringing my butt slightly off the floor i'm not really climbing up through the roof a dramatic amount here it's just a short range of motion okay let's do it so straight leg lift bump the hips slow so again try not to let the feet and the knees cross the belly button line you'll notice it's significantly harder when you do that again that's forcing the stomach to do the work not so much the hips Remember not to cross the belly button line here with the legs. Let's get three more. One, two, and three. Relax. Oh, nice job. Okay, next up we're gonna do leg collapse. So I need more space. So we're gonna go hands behind the head. Still don't have space. I'm gonna face the camera. <laughs> Be nice and long. You're gonna lift your leg up and come up, clap under the leg. Lift, 
clap. Try to sync the movement. So as I raise my upper body, my leg is coming up. So once I'm at the top, they meet. Okay. Um, and again, we're going to do 45 seconds. If you want to go slower or faster, that's your call. Let's go. You should actually be clapping here. <laughs> At the 20 second mark, I'm going to have you go a little faster. That's going to be in three, two, one. Let's go a little faster. Full range of motion still, so you're always coming back to the floor. Swing is fine here. Five seconds. And one more. Ah. Time. Oh, good Lord. Nice job. Relax. We're going to go into our uh, leg circles here. Oh, let's do flutter kicks. I changed my mind. We're going to do flutter kicks. So we're going to go hands again by the butt, under the butt, whatever works. Legs out in front. Little swimmers here with the legs. All right, we'll go 30 seconds here. I'm not gonna try to kill you with these. We're gonna do several variations on these. So notice I'm pointing my toes, legs are long. If you wanna make your life harder, you can really sit up. I'm kind of cheating with my hands here though. That's more like it. <laughs> 10 seconds. Time. You got 10 seconds. We're going to stay in that same position, but we're going to bring the legs up and over each other this time. Starting in three, two, one, legs up and over. Butterflies, scissors, whatever you want to call them. But again, I got my legs long, pointing the toes. Oh, God. <laughs> you want to make your life harder, you come up. Ten seconds. And time. Uh, <laughs> woo. Now we're going to do the circles. So, it's the one, like I always say, pretend you're laying down at the beach, right? Down on the elbows, chilling. Okay, if you can't see me there, down on my elbows like this. What's up? I'm at the beach. Okay. So down my elbows, legs are going to be up, and I'm going to make a big circle with my legs. So legs straight up, big circle here, and back up. Keep going, folks. I need to switch my direction. I can't see myself. There we go. Big circle. This is a very challenging one. If you need to make your life a little easier, bend your knees. Slow and steady. The more you can fight it and control it, the better. Ah. Oh, I'm dying here. Let's get two more in. And one more. And relax. Oh. Woo. So we just have two more exercises left today. Uh, what time is it? it is, oh, yeah, we're doing great on time. It's already been 40 minutes. What the heck? Um, we're going to do a hollow rock, which is, in my opinion, the hardest to have exercise. I feel like I can barely get through it. Don't judge me. And then we'll finish with our plank. So a hollow rock is... I am going to bring my arms behind my head. Try not to flash anybody. Arms behind the head. I'm going to have to face the camera, but I'll demonstrate now. Legs up, nice and long, and I'm going to hold. And that's it. We're going to do 30 seconds of that. So again, I'm going to face the camera for this. I get myself ready for this. All right. Arms behind the head, nice and long. Head and shoulders up. Legs are up off the floor, and you're going to hold it. 
Hold that position. Pull the shoulders down. Pull the stomach in. My God, I hate this one. So I'm only a couple inches off the floor here. I'm not super high up. So let me show you that again. We won't do it again, don't worry. Uh-oh. Am I back? Okay, I think I'm back. So if you didn't hear that, I'll show you it again. We're not going to do it again, don't worry. Um, but it's as long as possible. And I'm only up a couple inches and then I'm holding it here. I'm not all the way up here. It's, it's, it's similar but different to the earthquake movement that we did. Anyway, grab a sip of water. You're going to need it. Uh, last week we did a three minute plank. So today we're going to do three and a half minute plank. No big deal. Now, as always, I'm good. It's not just a low plank. Okay. I'm not going to have you sit in the seat, seating, planking, whatever, in the same position, you're going to be able to move. So if you want to move when I do, I'm going to transfer to side. I'm going to go to high. I might do a push up. Um, just remember downward dog here is your rest position if you need it, which you might but stay off your knees. No one should be dropping throughout this time. Okay? Especially if you're on camera. Okay, so again, it is three and a half. Let me just completely start my timer over. Bear with me. What did I say? Three and a half? Yeah, three and a half minutes. Okay, three and a half minute plank. Now's a good time to talk to your friends and pass the time. Here we go. Ugh. Happy thoughts. <laughs> so remember, you can move around as much as you want. Just try to stay off those knees. I'm going to stay here for another 10, and then I'm going to go to side. But I'm not going to drop when I do that. So I'm gonna turn to side, stacking the feet off the knees, and hold it. Guys, it's fine, we only have three minutes left. It's not a big deal. Woo! Now's the time when it's, it's good to think about other things and not focus on the plank, I guess. I'm gonna stay here for another 10, and then I'm gonna go back to center for 10. All right, I'm going to go back to center. We're at a minute, believe it or not. I'm going to switch sides. I'm going to stay here for 30. Ten seconds, I'm going to go back to center. I'm back to center. I'm going to do a little body sauce. I'm going to push my body forward and I'm going to pull it back. Push the body forward, pull it back. Butt shouldn't be too high in the air, folks. Stay off those knees. I'm going to turn to side plank again. Off the knees. You got a minute and a half left. We're almost there. I'm gonna do a little twist. So I'm gonna take my top hand and reach to the opposite side. Open back up, whatever speed you want. You're not just reaching with your hands though. You need to actually turn. Yeah, that's it. I'm gonna do one more, then I'm gonna go back to center. <clears throat> I'm gonna come up to my hands. Woo! I'm gonna do a push up, because why not? Going back to the elbows, I'm going to turn to the other side. Going into my twists. Big turn. I'm going to do one more, then go back to center. Back to center. 30 seconds left. 
And we're just going to hold it here for 20. And then two, one, time, boom. Nice job, folks. Three and a half minute plank. You are done. Ooh, the internet is bad today. As I was saying, you're done. <laughs> That's it, everybody. Nice job. Nice job, video crew. Hi, Onyx. Good stuff. Uh, remember, tomorrow is going to be primarily upper body, similar to what we did Monday. So lots of pressing and all that fun stuff. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to stay and ask. Other than that, that's it. Cheers. Well, thank you. I am awesome. Nice job, Ariel. That was hard. That went longer than I expected. That was 45 minutes. I guess that helps that I didn't start my timer <laughs> correctly. Cool. Well, if you have any other questions, just shoot me an email. All right. Bye, everybody. See ya.